So uh, if you would you like to have a go, if you see where that white light is flashing, that's it. Just turn it back to the red arrow at the end of the top. Uh, it's got to be the red arrow at the top. That's it. The white root lights will die away, hopefully, and free up the locking. And then if you want to turn this switch, and we're going towards the right, so you turn it so the red arrow points towards the right. Yeah. That's it. And you've got loads of potential exit destinations. You could go there, 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 or there. And that's the one you've got to go. Yeah. That's it. You've got to press it a bit more firmly than that, I'm afraid. Oh, and hang on, I've, I've called you out. There you go. Try again, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> there we go. All these points are going over. Points going over in the overlap. And the white blue lights are coming up into the platform. And this signal has changed colour to green, but actually it's only yellow because the next one's red. This signal, which was green all along, is now flashing single yellow, and this one is flashing double yellow. And it's just the signalman's job to know which of his signals are capable of flashing when he works out what the aspect sequence is going to be. So he's got the road all the way across into number two. We'll have a quick check to make sure there's nothing that's going to conflict, something coming up the main into number one, or this one going out of number two, for example. Is he the next one away? The overlap yeah, so is a little white dot. The facing points in the overlap show up a little dot. Oh, the, oh there's the overlap, with the, with the, white, with the black dot in the, in the mark. Oh, really? mm. so, that, so the overlay <coughs> for that is, is there. That's it? Yeah. Now you can see, um, oh, as well as facing... Sorry, you're right. Oh. As well as facing points in the overlap showing up a dot, you can turn the point indications on all together, so you can see which position all the points are in. Yeah. And it betrays where there used to be points, yeah. and there now isn't. Never taken them off. Yeah. Absolutely, still in the interlocking. And I've certainly been up here on occasions where these two little lights are flashing, and you can't clear the signal, because in the interlocking the points have failed, because the fuse has gone, or a cable has broken, or something. Right, there's nothing else that's going to conflict with this movement going on to the Kemble line. And the B position signal, because the boundary between the two signals is just there, is, is that's here. it, yeah. yeah. That's kind of our exit well, yeah. button, but his entrance <coughs> switch. Oh, so he's, so already he's already done his bit in readiness. Yeah. Yeah. If we turn, if you want to turn this switch, so again the red arrow, because we've got a main aspect route points to the right, that's it. And follow along with your finger and hopefully you'll get to 150, that's it. So that one, that's yeah. it. You press him, and again, points going over here. And then when they go over, the white blue lights will go all the way. If the points were not to be able to go all the way over, that would just carry on flashing. And we'd expect the signalman to notice, because he's supposed to check up on what he's done to make sure the equipment actually responds to his commands. And he'd put it back. And he could try and obtain the points on the individual switches. So although 99% of the time the points motor as you command the signals to change colour, you can motor them individually by using the switches up the top, which all just generally live in the centre position, which means you're free to swing whichever way you want. And another thing about these point uh, indications is they've got a lighting for normal and reverse. And a lot of panels, apart from on the Great Western, the light in the middle flashes when the points are out of correspondence. But on these types of panels, it shows a red light when the points are locked in position, so you cannot move them. The out of correspondence is given by the point end on the actual panel fascia diagram flashing. Again, this route's been used, and it has no further purpose to us, so if you want to turn the switch so it points the red arrow to the 12 o'clock position, and the white root lights will die away. And sometimes you do that and the white root lights don't die away. You think, oh no, what's going on? Try it again, do it again, it works first time. Um, you know, anything can fail. There's a lot of mechanical stuff in this, um, in this electrical panel. Now this reminder was on here, as uh, somebody identified earlier. We used to have a blue reminder for this exact purpose, but it got lost or broken somewhere. So now we've got one with Gloucester service written on top of it, just to make sure that when a one golf train comes down for, for Cheltenham or Gloucester, we don't accidentally put it into platform four where everything goes. Because if you notice, there's not enough crossovers to get back across. Is it right to take this reminder off, Godfrey? Yeah. Yeah. So again, I would never take a reminder off without checking, and I wouldn't expect anyone else, if I was working the panel, to take a reminder off without checking with me. So Godfrey says it's fine. Um, and a lot of signalmen in here, as soon as they see that one golf come up, they put a reminder on there just to make sure they don't make a mistake. The train's coming in now. You see these signals have all stepped up again, or that one will, when the overlap goes clear, which is, I don't know whether it'll be there or there on that route, but uh, this one will step up again. Preset shunt in that route, there we go, it stepped up, so the overlap must be there. But this one, which doesn't have an auto facility, is just used. Uh, so again, if you want to turn that button so the switch points back up to the 12 o'clock position, there we go. And again, there used to be a set of facing points there, so there is a, a lamp there to say the facing points are in this position, but of course they're not because there's no points. But that is still pointing that way, just to let us know. Now, um, unlike on an SSI panel, if a set of facing points within the overlap on an SSI panel doesn't or loses detection for more than about 10 seconds, um, the signal in rear of the protecting signal goes back to danger on the basis that it's considered an obstruction in the overlap. But on this kind of panel, it doesn't. So you can quite happily have these points flashing away as much as you like, and this signal will stay off all day long. Um, and there are occasions, uh, so for example, at Lavington, down that end of the panel is one of them, where your first signal has a set of points in the overlap, and you haven't got a signal further back than that to put back to danger if you do have a, a point failure in the overlap. You're all right, sorry,
And then if you'd like to uh, replace this one to danger by putting the red back up to the 12 o'clock position, that's it, you'll see the signal has gone back to red and comprehensive approach lockings provided the white relights lights have died out straight away. Um, we'll want to bring, now let's think in advance about what we're going to do here. Here's the engine and here's where it needs to get to. There'll be no value at all in going down here because then you can't get back over. There'll be no value in going down there because there used to be a crossover there, see, but not anymore. So we've got to go into one or three. Let's go into one since one's not being used for anything else and three's occupied. So if you want to turn the switch on 26, two, that's it, to two. the right, yep. that's it. That's it, and then follow along with your finger until you get to a red exit button. That's it, so you press him, this is the next signal. Again, points going over here, and that's now stepped up to a single yep. yellow. Uh, these white route lights are in the overlap because there were facing points in the overlap. Yeah. Let's go from this signal, if you turn it to the right, that's it, and then follow along with your finger towards platform one, which is this platform down here, until you get to, ah, now, that you one, this that one. one. That yeah, one's rubbed right. off, but there should be an arrow on there. <laughs> That's it, flank protection being provided here by these points going yeah. over, and then those ones can go over, so it's like one before the other. Yeah. Again, this signal here <coughs> is because it's approach released, yeah. so, or for this route it is, so once this engine gets up here, and you see the engine has obeyed your command, <laughs> it'll power <laughs> well. um, He was probably desperate to go. Um, uh, when he's been on, I don't know what the timing is, it might be immediate when he gets onto Bravo Charlie, the signal will step up to a single yellow, and you can go in there and wait to the platform. And then when he's in here, and this one's gone, you can get rid of them down the Kemble line. The only way out of platform one is to go kind of wrong road and then cross over there. But these crossovers are really bad. You can't go that way, just because you can't. Again, they're facing points in the overlap of this one. So we couldn't, even if we tried now, come in around the bay because the overlap is there. And there if you're going that way, yes. Uh, oh, actually, I think it might be there, and that might be the overlap. No. Mm. <laughs> no, that might be the overlap of that one. To be honest, from what I've studied of this panel and photos and things, there's a lot of these dots missing, and some of mm. them where I think, what on earth does that dot mean? And it's just a tile that somebody's found and put in, I imagine. So, so you've got any alternative routes on this? Um, yes, so for example, coming in from platform three up the main, you can go through either of these crossovers to get to the up main, which is here. And there's a presumably a preferred route. Yes, the preferred route is the non-preferred route. So the interlocking's preferred route is to go this way. That's not the way that we like to go, we like to go this way. Yeah. because that is an overlap for this one, and it means you can come up the main all the way yeah. to there while you're still going there. So if we're not using three, four, one points in reverse, we all lock them normal. normal, yeah. Again, this has been used now, so if you want to uh, cancel your work and put uh, the red arrow back to the 12 o'clock position, you've got it. White relights lights die away. And uh, just because we do, although there's nothing mm. to say in the rules that you have to, we always leave this in the kind of setup for straight running position. So, so that turn, one's back. Back to... That's it, red towards yeah. me. And then the next red exit button on the straight route, if you follow along with your finger... Will be that it. one. Yep, that's it. And again, these points will go back over because yeah. you last used them in reverse. All the points will just... Well, most of the points will just stay in the position that you last used them until you call them the other way. Mm. Some of them, for example, this one here, 337, that protects runaway movements coming out the up reception. self restore it. That's it, you've got it. After a few minute, after a few seconds, it will just put itself back. Again, this route's been used, so if you want to put that back to the 12 o'clock position... And again, the white relights lights will just die away and the train will eat them up. This route's now been used. Who set this route to start with? That was for me. Would you like to uh, cancel your uh, hard work? Just back to the, yep, to the red at the top. And the white relights lights will die away. Now, we could, the interlocking would allow us to attempt to set the route from the here to there now. And the signal would stay at danger until the train had gone away. Um, and then it would step up. Is it preferred to wait until the, yeah. the track circuit's not occupied That's anymore? That's it, yeah. yeah. Um, so it, it, should it's call, kind of a, it should call the route, shouldn't it, once these tracks are clear? Will it, will it, it well, you could call the route as soon as you like.